Everyone thinks that they know someone so personally in this world. They think that just because they've been around them for a certain amount of time, that automatically means they know their every thought, feeling, and emotion at the snap of a finger. Newsflash, it doesn't work that way. But maybe that's me being too harsh. Too critical, maybe. Then again, I don't think the majority of you would even give any less of a shit about anything that comes out of my mouth these days anyway. But you know what annoys me the most? The fact that all of you decide that it's a good idea to try and get in my head. To see what I'm thinking. But let me tell you all again, for those that are too brain dead, to figure it out. You try to take one step into my head, and you might as well be putting one step further in the grave. Because none of you know what it's like to be in my shoes. None of you know what I've been through, so stop pretending that you do. Todos quieren decir que te aman, y se preocupan por ti cuando caes, pero son los primeros en juzgarte cuando estás en la cima. La familia nunca importa. Los amigos nunca importan. Todos quieren verte sufrir, y luego fingen que les importa solo salvar su propia imagen. There's a reason I say that I'm always the baddest. Because that's not a catchy phrase for a t-shirt. <laughs> Even though, I do love that merch money. <laughs> when I say I'm the baddest, that's because I am. I live and breathe it. And she taught me how to do it. So, Devitaki, I want to publicly thank you for that. Ella me hace mejor de lo que he sido. Nunca. Necesité a ninguno de ustedes desgraciados hipócritas para eso. Nunca necesité una familia que solo me quería por sexo, que ni siquiera amé o quise por eso. Nunca necesité fanáticos que solo les importaba para dar un espectáculo, y no por mi habilidad en el ring. But Trixie, I want to thank you too. Thank you for reminding me of something I long forgot and reminding me of why what I'm about to do is so damn necessary. Because, you know what they say, you can't build an ivory tower without killing a few elephants. And I guarantee you, my tower will eclipse your expectations for me, and there's not a damn thing any of you can do about it. Because, if you haven't already figured it out yet, siempre soy la más Chingona. I'm always the baddest. This is Wildcats 180. I am the Trailer Road King, Raging Ray Jackson, and I am being joined. By Mr. Downtown, Jason of the Brown. Hello. And it's the first Wildcat of the season. And after everything we saw on takedown, good God almighty, what's Wildcat have for us? You know what? If you're, if you're a new fan of DCA and Revelations was your first time watching it, buckle up. The season's always going crazy, but we have a Wildcats Championship All-Star tur Tournament. As you see, the women that are going to be in this set tournament, Shinobu Jacobs, Jerry Sonata, I mean, this is going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, the, if, if the uh, lovely individuals in the back can give me some notes here on whether or not this entire night's just going to be a, tur a tournament to determine who's going to be uh, I think I actually I think tonight we're also supposed to crown uh, the Wild a Wildcats champion. Uh, I right. think. Winner of the tournament faces the winner of the main event tonight for the Tyler Van Show. All right. Because I do because I do know I think it's was tonight like a fatal five way in the main event. Five current women's ch world champions facing off against each other. 
about it, looks like we're gonna get started with our first opening contest, because there is Shinobu Jones. Uh, Jacobs. Jacobs, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was watching Cleopatra Jones with Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> he really digs that black he really digs black exploitation. Yeah, he, uh, he's got a he's got a like for Pam Greer. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but we got our first matchup here. Shinobu Jacobs will go one on one with Jury Sonata. The winner goes on to face the winner of the next matchup here. And this is a tremendous opportunity for all these women involved. Yeah, uh, for those who don't don't know, uh, the reason why the Wildcats title is currently vacant is because uh, former champion. Trixie Decker uh, vacated the title after that. What, would you even consider that a match? No. It was just a straight up. Uh, let me put. Let me put this woman out of her misery. Moment. Yeah. And then Trixie basically said, "Nope, time for somebody else to have this belt." And here comes a woman who's making her first appearance in Wildcats. In over a, I think almost two years, or at least two seasons. Damn near two years. Uh, Jerry Sonata, the last time we saw her, she was actually challenging for the UWL Charge World title, which, by the way, uh, I do believe uh, Selena Zeta is one of the world champions who are in tonight's main event. Seems like it. Um,. But yeah, this is gonna be something else. Jerry Sonata, I, I know. Oh, I, I know Jerry. Very well. Funny enough, um, here's a fun fact for y'all people. I was Jerry's babysitter when she was still in diapers. Tip. <laughs> I mean, so when I tell you, when I tell you, Raging Ray Jackson had had a deep connection to. To the wrestlers, the men and women in Japan, I mean it. It's so crazy now, because I'm watching some of them, and it's like, I remember when y'all were little bitty babies, you know? Uh, thank you, Bobby. Or, he, or I, I remember Bobby telling stories about how a couple of the young, you know, wrestlers of today, you know, when they were little kids, were running around the locker rooms and everything playing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Especially Rico. <laughs> <laughs> but the main event but the main event for the Wildcats title is going to be the UWL Charge Champion Selena Zeta the Call Stars Women's Champion Kimberly Page the SRW World Champion Devataki the GCA Women's Champion Melissa McNeil and the RV Heavyweight Champion Aubrey Williams which good god holy hell Are you, yes yes uh, for, uh, women's champions and the goddamn world heavyweight champion of ROV. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking man of ROV, if you know what I mean. Anyway, look, all I'm saying look. is this. You know, you know, you're. Look, all I'm saying is this. I've said it once. I've said it again. Aubrey's got a bigger dick than half that ROV roster. <laughs> don't, come, don't at me. And look at that. Oh, this is the clothesline there, but and Jerry just lays her out with a clothesline. Oh! This is. And Shinobu with a huge chop on Jerry. But Jerry counters it. Countered by Shinobu. He's right back in that ring. Front headlock. Nope. Countered by Jerry. Breaks out. Irish whip into the ropes. Dozy Doe. Misses the shot. And now. Well, this neck breaker. Neck breaker by Shinobu, and now Shinobu picking Jerry back up. Big chop again. Oh! Trying to go for the close on Jerry rolls. And now, look at this. Black Black liner. The Chris Canyon Memorial Tribute Flatliner. And whoa! Oh! Big bicycle kick! One, two, 
And again, both women in this matchup are also former women's world champions themselves. Uh, Jerry, a former Wildcats champion, and of course, former uh, AC, ACW Glamour X uh, champion. Uh, Shinobu, former Queens of Wrestling champion. This is a, a jam-packed tournament here. You got a lot of women who are looking to get back at that position. Mm -hmm. And now Shinobu. Oh, what a haymaker. She's feeling it, and she's feeling it here. And oh, look at these sh shots to the jugular. And oh, big punch to the gut. Now look at Jerry off the rope and X Bomba! X Bomba! You know, for all the people who've been criticizing some of Lucinda's action, yeah, she uh, put together quite the. Hey, Jason, can you get that? There's a knock at the door. All right, all right. Look. She uh, put together quite the lineup around for the Wildcats title. Hey, look, 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 look who's look, look who's here. Yeah, all right. Well, well, fucking well. All right. Sit over here hello, beside hello, me. Mr. Hello, Mr. Jackson. It is. Mm -hmm. Hello. How you doing? And as you, can, as you can see right here, Jerry working on the neck of Shinobu. Yeah. All right, let's clear the air here. Ray, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. I'll be you. You know, that's, that, that, that's not even the main problem anymore. I should have listened. I should have listened. Okay, and I paid for it. Look, look, we'll, we'll discuss that. Don't worry about that some other time. Right now, we call a show. Please. Anyway, uh, Shinobu trying to get some offense on uh, Jerry Sonata. Nice punch there by Shinobu. Now, Shinobu to the middle rope. Shinobu Jacobs. Uh, also a former Queens of Wrestling Tag Team Champion and of course former Wildcats Tag Team Champion. Mm. When the see, Shinobu ever decides to go after the Fever Championship, she does have a legitimate case of becoming a triple crown winner. Also current current oh yeah, they're current uh Queens of Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Okay. Yes. Yeah. They uh, haven't yeah. lost those belts. Yes. Which uh so, they will be defending those titles at prestige by the way. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but we are literally going to have the Psycho Angel here tonight. Yeah. She's in that main event. She's in that main event multi-woman match. Uh, or as Ray Jackson likes to call her, uh, the person with the biggest dick in ROV. I mean. <laughs> and he's I mean, not wrong. The fact that she literally strong, strong on her way to becoming ROV World Champion in Los Angeles, it makes sense. I mean, look, all I gotta say is compared to all the other women on that roster. And some of the men. I'm proud that she is the only woman in that roster that did not have to suck a dick to get to the top. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> she did have to get help from her, from her, um, from her family member. Hey, she got it, so. Look, 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 I'd rather a person, you know, win it hook by crook instead of, you know, hook by, you know, cock and mouth. She won the match. She got the belt instead of by our just strong arm instead of being on her knees. Big, it's a great. Stand by. One, two, no. Look, look, we'll continue this ROV roast session later. But anyways. Yeah. Anyway, Jerry Sonata's getting some, getting the advantage here against uh, Shinobu. Heavy forearms. And Jerry. Heavy forearms there, Jerry. Oh, oh, big hip toss. Holy shit. Deep arm drag there from a, from a Shinobu, almost a hip attack style. And now, Shinobu, oh! Right to the back. Right to the back of that elbow drop, and now Shinobu back on the top rope. And, oh! Doubles up on the elbow drop. Two, no. Only gets a two. No, look at this. Oh, try to go for a uh, 
I guess a scoop slam, but Jerry was able to get out of that. And now look at this. Repeated butterfly suplexes with a modified butterfly DDT. That is the, uh, that is the um, intuition. That is Jerry Sonata. That got that. Look, look at that deep chin lock. She's got, got her knee right in her back. That is a single leg, single leg uh, camel clutch there just really working on the back of, of Shinobi Jacobs. And it's the and the funny thing is, actually, no, uh, no, no. I was gonna say, uh, wasn't she, the No More Heroes the one that beat her and her tag team partner for the uh, Queen's Wrestling title? But then I remembered, no, No More Heroes, Heroes beat Sweet Diva. Yeah. And then that uh, I, she beat the woman that Jerry lost to many revelations ago. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was just a bunch. Oh! Over missed the guillotine. Yeah, missed the guillotine leg drop. And now, Jerry in control of the matchup once again. Now look at this German suplex with the bridge. No, only two. Only a two count off of that one. Well, Jerry picking Chernobyl back up. And oh! Uh, modified Michinoku. Two. No. Give me Shinoku. And no. no. Sure is keeping up on Shinoku here. Yes, uh, she could be. She's in the driver's seat here in this, op in this opening contest. In this opening terminate match. And oh. Also, I'd like to, um, to, uh, to agree with Ray. Whoever, for those who kept, kept dogging Lucinda for her actions, would you rather have her or that big known as Dakota to run Wildcats? Oh, oh man. Man. Now counter. Oh! God damn that kick. Look. Oh, look at this. Wait. One. The upset. Yeah. No! What I was going to say was, I'm actually going to admit this. I'm always actually one of the people who actually kind of criticized her for that. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know I know her, her, her reason was because she wanted to get all that shit out of the way. And yes, I know Amber brought it onto herself. But Jesus fucking Christ. I, it's, but you know what? What's done is done. What's done is done. Partner. Partner. Who did, Natalie, who did Natalie get as a partner? I guess we're going to find out because even I don't know. But that's going to be interesting to see the female variant of the new scene in action. Yep. Excuse me. Sorry, I almost threw up on that one. Which is interesting because, uh, you know, it, it was a three woman team. With Cara Devers, Dakota, and um, Melissa Morgan. Melissa Morgan, but ever since what happened to Brett, no one's heard anything from Melissa. And nearly as long as well, what happened was she was still around. It wasn't until after her match with Ivana. It hasn't. She, uh, she hasn't been seen since uh, Redemption 2020. After two years. Going on. Going on two years. Yeah. Oh wait, misses that elbow. Jerry tries to go. Wait, no. Roll up. Two. two. And, uh, though from what he, those messages when we were when Brett was teasing his return, he did say this that she never left his side. Jesus. She That's is, I'm gonna be honest, you don't we don't know who that could be. But yeah, true. it is interesting to say at least what he meant. But it's also interesting to know as Shinobu's trying to pick things back up. Look at that! Oh! Jerry's a Salvatore with the Mambo Italiano! <laughs> and Jerry Oh Inziguri! Or in Jerry. Yeah, yeah, neither of them are. Oh my god! Big guillotine leg drop, Mr. Psychosis style, and oh, 
backbreaker. Yeah, Melissa hasn't been seen since Redemption 2020, and we haven't seen uh, Ovana since was it Redemption 2021. Correct me if I'm wrong. Get get way get, to oh yeah, gateway to heaven. Get gateway. To heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shinobu, Shinobu. <laughs> or at least, uh, at least around roughly around the same event because I think Gateway yeah, to Heaven is ever, one of the. Uh, about 321. Yeah, but. But nonetheless, yeah, we haven't seen either of the uh, Morgan sisters since. Oh, no, no, wait, it was actually December. It was December. Uh, apologies. Either way, they both have there. not been here. Okay, Shinobu will be looking to finish here. She's calling for it. This could be a huge win here for Shinobu. She can knock out Jury Sonata in this opening round, opening tur ma round tournament match. Lines are up. No! Tilt oh, the world backbreaker. Tilt the world backbreaker there by Jerry Sonata. Now Jerry to the, the top. The experience is coming in. Oh, oh my goodness. It's an atomic leg drop from the top. One, two, no. Jerry really wants to become a two-time Wildcats champion. And Chernobyl looking to become a champion for the first time. At least a Wildcats champion. One, two, no. no. It's out at 2.4. Goes out of wave that drop kick. And now mm -hmm. Shinobu gets her up. Iris whip, reversal by Jury. And Shinobu countered by Shinobu. Honestly, win, lose, or draw, Shinobu is putting up a hell of a, a campaign that Jesus. deserves to be in the main event scene. No. Very much too. Oh! Counter. Andre counter. Now, oh, look at this. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, over the rope. And now Shinobu follows after. It's the referee, Minnie Walter, for this evening. Minnie Walter, of course, from the Madhouse family. Yes. Oh! Oh, my! Walker. What a... What a clothesline. Vicious clothesline right there. The jury, jury took it. Ate that. And, oh! I, uh, but I spoke too soon on that one. No. I just looked into the corner there. And, oh! Go, oh, Larry! Another big one. Larry taking her head off of his shoulders. This has been, an this has been a very impressive... Uh, match here to open up this tournament. And now look at this Shinobu with the snap mirror. Oh, these two women. Oh, these, ate that. Both women are just hitting each other with potatoes right now, and the other one when just keep and the other one just keeps block. eating it. When you got a chance to be next in line for the Wildcats, time, wait, you, you go for it. One, two, no. Oh, the Wildcats proved that she was telling the truth. And now, Shinobu waiting for Jerry to get back up to the vertical base. Oh, no! Counter by Jerry! And now look at this. Southern Light Suplex on its way! It's down south. Which is ironic. And now, Jerry... And Shinobu oh, tying up. Shinobu pushes Jerry away. Jerry catches the foot. Jerry, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, look no. at this. Jump. oh shit. That had to hurt. And Shinobu getting tangled up in the ropes on her way down. Jerry now. Lariat! With the Lariat. No! Oh, it's overshot! No, I, th I know what it was. Shinobu kicked her from midair. Okay, that's the first. She did, and now Shinobu lining her up. Shinobu kicked her, and now Shinobu sending Jerry back up. Whoa. No. Counter. O'Connor roll into a bridge. One, two, no. And 
now look at this off the rope nope fire ones carry and now wait wait tiger tiger suplexa and now uh oh here we go hoister up no jeez Jacob's ladder gets countered. Shinobu hit him with that huge knee and now. Ox kick. What's the leg? One, two, and she wins. Shinobu. Shinobu advances to the next round. Shinobu. Who many people. Who, Many people have always considered Shinobu the woman who was going to be the breakout star of No More Heroes. She, former, you know, Queens of Wrestling champion, now she's stepping one foot forward into becoming DCA Wildcats champion. What a victory. For, that's got to be the biggest win in Shinobu's young career. Taking down, taking down the former champion in, in Juri Sonata. Very much Take a look so. at this finish right here. Tori was going for Jacob's ladder, but Shinobu with the wherewithal to, to continue the momentum and land on her feet. Yoda with that huge knee, and then Shinobu set her up. Kick to the gut. Off well, the I'm rope. sorry, she was going for the... No, I'm, that's the name of the move. It's called the Jerry Crash. She was trying to go for the Jerry's Cap Crash. Oh, yeah. And Shinobu hits Jick and, and Shinobu hit Jacob's ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Shinobu Jacobs moves on to the semifinals here in this Wildcats tournament. Wildcats championship tournament. She is just one win away from punching your ticket to the ninth, to the nine year anniversary. And, and tonight we will see who the woman, the winner of this tournament will face. There's a lot of names on there and there's one that Completely terrifies me. It's not Aubrey. No, it's that too. But congratulations to Shinobu Jacobs advancing to the semifinals here in this here in this Wildcats Championship Tournament. Brilliant! <laughs> A lot of people ask why everything happened the way that it did.
Why, we tore through who you believed to be your enemies and watched as your so-called heroes crumbled in front of us. Maybe you should spend less time wondering why we did what we did and more time continuing to thank us for further exposing the zestful that this organization really is. <laughs> you know, it's hilarious when you try to sympathize with someone who's been fractured and hurt more times than they would like to admit, but then commit the same dirty actions and tactics that hurt them in the first place. You condemn their actions, yet commit them as well. But for us, we know that what we are doing is for a much bigger purpose. The heroes that treated you like dirt, we removed them from the equation. And the villains that thought they were in control, we reminded them of their place. <laughs> so allow us to reintroduce you to the true lairs of evil. You'll thank us later. We'll make sure of it. Sometimes, I sit, look up at the stars, and I wonder, why do people think the way that they do? Why do they love to speculate and accuse? Why do they love to think one way and then change almost immediately? For a lot of you, this is what you all have been doing for many years, not just after what we did recently. But this is where you do not understand the logic behind things like this. Everything I do is for a reason. Everything I plan has a purpose. Everything I think about is for a certain benefit. That is my job. Your job is to sit back and continue to be the robotic sheep that you are and speculate endlessly on what the end goal is and continue to say how evil and vile we are. <laughs> As for me, I will not lose an inch of sleep at night, knowing that I live rent-free as the nightmare in your head. My name is Cynthia, and I am your ultimate challenge. Well, welcome back to... Uh, Azula and Cynthia reminding us at the... That they have gotten rid of the bl of Black November, but they don't realize that this war is not over yet. And before the break, we saw Lady Beastmo announcing that she's going to take a little leave of absence for a while. <laughs> yeah, which you know I understand why. And here, well, if there's it's the gone. female new scene representing the Blood Trail. Also, uh, I'd like to mention uh, that she wasn't wearing her gear either. Yeah, she was. Uh, she the... she was wearing. She wasn't wearing. Well, she was wearing her gear, but she wasn't wearing the Black November gear. Oh. Yeah. Vanessa wasn't wearing the Black November colors either, so mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you about that. Anyway, <clears throat> it's now time for this tag team match. We're about to finally get the answer we've been wondering. Who the hell did Natalie Nice get as her tag team partner? Only, only one way to find out. What? Wait, what? Wait, that's your that's your friend from Twitter. That's Amaya. That's friend with Twitter. What the hell? Amaya. Yeah, the. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what is it? Hey, hold on, hold on. Am I? Do I read this directly? Wait, what's going on? They're calling themselves. <laughs> The Sour Patch Kids make their Wildcats debut! I'm all for it! It depends on who you talk to. Good point. I'm all for it! Why not? You know what? Why not? We need a little bit of, we need a laugh or two every once in a while. We need some love. So let's go for it. Mata Redfield teaming up with Natalie Nice. Okay, 
Amaya Redfield to Natalie's part. Okay, and Natalie going to town here. Going right after. Wait a minute. Neckbreaker. It's the neckbreaker there. Now. Boston Crab locked in. But now he gets out of it. No, gets right out of it. No. There's ailing elbows under the crown of the crown of her cover. Chalk it empty. We were chalk it empty. He's still trying to get your bearings. Fair enough. Yeah. And that's the code okay, in the ring. There's the also the code in the ring. Kara's on the on the apron. Okay. And now, now they're trying to get her into our respective corner. Snap bear. Oof. Dakota ate that. Oof. And Dakota made her taste her boot. Mm-hmm. And you know what I gotta say? Dakota, for somebody who uh, does not have any decent wrestling experience, over time has grown into her, grown into her, uh, her wrestling body, to say at least with the help of Kara Devers and a few others in the new scene, like Klein and Big Lance. Mm -hmm. And now, now, wait a minute. Let's go on the ready. top rope. She's not about to. Oh my god. Oh! Nope. She tried to go for it. She tried to go for it. Bombs away. It did not work. Nope. Natalie saw that coming. Like coming a mile away. And now both these women are just brawling. Now, Russian Lake Sweep on the outside. Could be going for a suplex. Wait a minute. Now we fight out of it. She fights. Wiggles out of it. And now she's got it. her in a Cobra Clutch. Oh, Cobra Clutch. Russian leg sweep. Did it her to Dream Street. Or Dream Street, depending on who you ask. Kick to the gut. And now, throws her into the ropes. Calf kick. And another one. Counters out. Neck breaker! Beautiful neck breaker. And now he's in full control of this match. And this is, like I said, this is where the experience starts to come in. Because now he does have some experience on Dakota! I think she might have kicked her, kicked up, kicked Dakota's head in. With them, uh, put those converses where the shun don't shine and out. Yeah, those, yeah, those converse Chuck Taylors, the classics. And, oh! oh hung her up. Hot shot, and now. Got to go for. Got it. It's the bombs away. Now, oh, oh, Natalie still ha still throws up the go back into the ring. Now. Now, oh God, German, holy that bridge! What? That bridge? No! I say. Now, Natalie, we're gonna finish here. Talk, Natalie, got her! Oh my God! Sticks it. That modified oh, neck breaker is a face buster. Oh. In Dakota by. Pure guts kicks out of that. It has been all Dakota so far. Car has not been tagged in. Mm -hmm. and neither has uh, Amaya. It's just been all uh, Natalie and uh, Dakota in this uh, in this match. Yes, it has been. Wait, wait, wait! Oh God! I don't need a steel step. Now, 
throws are back in. in here. Wait a minute. No, oh, jeez. James are on the apron. Oh wait, no! Oh. oh, there's the tag! Oh my get tagged in! Oh mushroom stop! Beautiful mushroom stop! Count as the drop kick! Gee! It's just all just all viciousness. And now! Oh! Backbreaker, neckbreaker combination, also known as a lethal injection. The OG lethal injection. And now. Oh, there it is! Reality check! Yep, reality check. I'm on here. in uh, Danvers. Now it's Danvers is in this match. Oh! Arm drag by Amaya. Just go for kick. Rolls out of the way. Mushroom Another stop! Mushroom stop. <laughs> Big clothesline. In the corner. And... Oh! I am being, am I trying to show her quickness? This car that can easily outpower her. Elbow, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my, oh my. Wow. She used the whole damn ring post for that. And now, uh, now we just show it off, I see. <laughs> And now, look at this! Look at this! Oh, there it is! The Chelsea Ow. smile! Ow. I don't really see a few people, Jesus! Oh, look at his knees. Oh, God, just right into her cranium. Jesus. Extra effect due to a lack of knee pads. Oh! Nice close line. And a super world strongest slam. Now it just throws a mine to their corner. Oh boy. Well. Party? A party? I don't know. I don't know. I guess you can call it that. Oh! Any party. The new scene party. The petty. The petty. The petty brigade. The Spite Express. Oh! Oh my way! She bit her fingers! Ah damn! That was just <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. okay. Well, we, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The most electrifying move in all sports entertainment! Here it is! The people's moon salt! Dex it with with ease. Ten out of ten! It holds up that it holds up that peace sign like victory for me, but no, Dakota roll Dakota. gets out of it. And now Dakota. Oh wait a minute, stump puller, stump puller. Okay, show it off some, uh, show off some impressive submission. Submission. Oh dear. Yeah, I think. Oh, look at this. I think I'm 
I think Natalie got a good partner here. She did. And now, oh, this soul food. Ah, soul food. To the cover. One. Oh. One thing. Let's do our. Let's do our pair of Dan versus uh, save. Wait a minute. Oh, Saido suplex. Saido by Natalie. Oh. Oh, come on. Now Maya taking advantage here. Close line. Runs up the ropes. Ooh, big drop kick. Maya's feeling it. They gotta. They, she's gotta go for something here. I go for something big here. And, oh, you're beat up for cut. Big clothesline there. The clothesline there from Dakota. And now. Oh! And that's the OG Lethal Injection. The OG, the OG Lethal Injection cover too. No. What is this? Ooh. Jump, big jumping DDT. And now, one more time, the most electrifying move in Wildcats today, the people's mood salt. With, with efficiency. Now, throws, throws Dakota into the corner. What is this? Oh, I think I know what's going to happen here. Oh, I know what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Oh, it's about yeah. time. Shout out to New Dumb Pro. It's the most overused move in all of Madhouse Entertainment as, as Amaya Redfield goes coast to coast with the Van Terminator. The coast. And now... Dragging her out. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Oh my God. The, and without the Sour Patch Kids get their first win as a tag team here on Wildcats. Carb Devers in Dakota Woods. I gotta say, impressive showing by Dakota. Just might think about her. Uh, There's an old saying in wrestling, you respect the talent, but you hate the attitude. Okay? That's said a lot for, for a lot of people in this industry. I mean, it's safe to be two hours an asshole for people. Like Here's the finish, right here. That Van Terminator, the Madhouse Special. With these, bang! That was more than enough to get the win for the South Patch Kids. You're out there, and with the cover here. One, two, and that was it. Congratulations to the South Pack Kids. Catching their first win as a new four tag team here in the Wildcats division. Might see see a, we might be seeing a bright future for the South Pack Kids here in the tag team division. Very much so. Congratulations.
you know what? Kimberly Page is confident. You know what? This may this may uh, get me in trouble with her husband and a few other people, but I'm sorry. Weren't you the very same woman that people forgot you existed until Carmen Cortez came into the picture and made the call All Stars Women Division relevant? Ooh. Mm. Man. Welcome back. Look, to look, look, I get you confident. You know, you can say your shit about them and talk about what you're gonna bring. Kimberly, I'm sorry. But, um, if it wasn't for Amber Stevens and Carmen Cortez and Elizabeth Preza, people would legitimately forget that ACW even had a women's division. Point and also take a look at this. I'm noticing, and that is Megan Van Horn. She Van Horn. she's not her. Uh, it's uh, yep. Yeah. New gear. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's the same. That's the same. Oh, yeah, same. The different attitude. Yeah, right? different attitude. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, her her demeanor is definitely different. That was that that was the words I was trying to get out. Um, but but to uh, but to add on to what you were saying, Ray, about uh, Kimberly before we move on to this match, no, 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 at least she's not as you know forgettable as the previous champion. The what? What? Ooh. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, you notice it. You're noticing in Megan, she's not as Preppy is energetic as normal. I mean, after everything. Trying, that, but. I mean, after everything that, that transpired at Revelations during that, you know, you know the Mary Pawn uh, Carmen match, and everything that proceeded afterwards, or well, actually near the ending of it, when you know wait she. Wait. This is this is new. Oh hey! This is very new music for Abby Thor. Like it on. Huh. Here comes Ray Jackson's favorite little goblin. So wrestling's little ankle biter. Uh, by the way, this is the a quarterfinal matchup in the Wildcat Championship Tournament. Yeah. yeah. Make it better one for Abby Thorne. Abby Thorne, this is her first opportunity to even get, I wouldn't say her first opportunity, but she's got a chance to go all the way and face and probably be a number one contender for the Wildcats the Championship. As we all remember, she is the former longest reigning Rising Star Champion back then when she was known as the Risen Star here in the NCAA. And she's also uh, has something else big in her future as she will be challenging uh, at Salvation, let me plug in my own shit here for a second, uh, for the tag team titles with her and her tag team partner Terry Kerrigan, or as they like to, to refer to each other as the Sisters of Spike. Right now, say, Abby Thorne has got a lot on her plate for this upcoming year of 2022. Ballsy, in your face. Unapologetic. Abby Thorne's a lot of things. Abby Thorne has everything that I like to see in a wrestler. Indeed. Here we go. Uh, look at these two. Locking Can horns. Out to the side headlock. Stake down. And something else I want to point out. You know, we haven't seen anything or heard high or tell of Mari since Revelations. And since that night. Yeah. I mean, Hit hasn't even lost contact with her. That's not good. Um, and, but there's another, there's another factor that I want to discuss, or at least bring up. There was, yeah. a, there was one other person who... Wait, 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 wait! wait. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry for cutting you off there, but continue. There's one other person who was sort of involved in the incident that happened, but... You know, she didn't get attacked or anything, or she didn't get hurt. She, but she got stopped by one of those mysterious women that yeah. now are now palling, palling around with Carmen. Still don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Still don't know who those two women are. 
But ever since that night where the big one, uh, when I mean, when I mean my big, I mean my tall. Don't kill me. Uh, Basically asked Fortune, who do you work for, yourself or the Needles? Yep. And since then, we haven't heard anything from Fortune. So right now, hashtag Pirate Life is just... Well, it's just what we see in the ring right now. Don't know any. We're left with more questions than answers. Anyway. Down with the frog. No. Try to go for some. Amber cut her off. Counter by uh, Abby again. And uh, Abby. Uh oh. Powerbomb. Uh, no. no. What a reversal there. Only one. Oh, try to go for that super kid misses. Counter by Megan. Then up, oh, up. One, two, two. No. But you know, I have to. I have to point this out. You know, she's trying to keep her demeanor. She's trying to keep. You know, who? You know, that Megan we all know and love. But after everything that's happened, you could tell she's 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 still traumatized by what transpired. Mostly because. Not anything that Carmen did. It's what was, what was happening to Mari. That slow descent into darkness. Yeah. She, she, she was traumatized because of the fact that her best friend, what she thought was her best friend, became what she was at Revelations. Anger, hatred, and his vengeance. You know. She, sh she thought she knew Mari. Like no, no, else. no, no. It's, it's not the. Th it's not the. It's not the case of oh, Mari was showing her true colors. It was a trans. It was a transformation. Basically, it wasn't her showing. That her she was not. Her. That she. That she did not expect. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't the whole. Fa it wasn't the whole. The whole fact that, I, that you know, oh, Mari was showing her true colors. No, that Mari has always been who Mari is, or at least was. That match. Changed her from this as soon as that bell rung, Mari turned into a different person. Slowly, the, the, slowly, the transition into I guess dark Mari would be the the appropriate term to use. Well, Jesus, why? Why would she turn into this? Who was helping make her go into that? I, no, I, it, it, I don't think it was anyone in specific that was turning her into that. It was the fact that I think everything that Carmen had done and everything Carmen had said struck a nerve with her, and it it it, 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 it hit a wound. It hit a nerve, literally. It hit a nerve. It, so so I'm not I'm not thinking it's like some dark force that would that changed or anything like that. It's, not every not every not everybody's not every flip of the switch has to be a dark force. Everybody's got demons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not Mar every angel has. Not every angel is clean. Also, you know. And now, now Van Megan Horn. Is. Van Horn, look at this. Oh, oh. big senton. I sent on there from Van Horn. Van Horn, a third generation wrestler, I do believe. Yep. With a splash there in the cover. Because remember, you know, originally when she came into DCA, she wasn't doing the whole pirate thing. It wasn't until she befriended no, no. Mari, where you know, where she became, you know, one half of Pirate Life, when you know, probably one of the most popular tag teams here in the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. But beforehand, you know, she was the straight up, you know, wrestler's wrestler. Everybody remembered her from her. Everybody knew her from her family, mm -hmm. the Van Horn family. Abby with these kicks and stumps. It's going to work the town. Now that's the thing uh, that uh, Megan here. That is the thing about Abby about Abby Thorne. She's a she's a woman who you know you, you could say people have warmed up to her. I, I I have to say, you know, she's become one of the more popular women here on DCA, but in in, in, in a sense she's still sort of the Abby that we Used to, you know, criticize a couple of years ago. She's still vindictive. She's still fightful, spiteful. But she's doing a more of a, you know what? We we know we know you're a vindictive, spiteful little gremlin, but we love you. 
And that is a compliment if she looks this if she listens to this back. It is a compliment. It's because I know you're a big fantasy nerd. Exactly. So, so I know you would appreciate it. And now Megan waiting for Abby to get back up to the vertical base. And oh, arm drag. Lose her own momentum against her. And now look at this. Abby. Uh oh. Abby going for. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Panama Sunrise. Sunrise. Panama Sunrise from from a, from an English woman. A two count and somewhere Pete Williams is crying. It's not nice crying. It's just he, sh he sheds a tear. It's a, it's just, it's a small little tear that just drops down his face. Mm -hmm. You know that you, like, you remember that old uh, commercial from back in the day uh, <laughs> with the Indian? <laughs> yes, yeah, with the Native American looking at the trash and then turns to the oh, camera. Yeah, the dude threw it at his feet. And that that like, sounds he, about he, right. Slowly turns to the camera and you just see a single tear just, just going down. That's Petey Williams. <laughs> and now, look at Megan. Tornado DDT! Big tornado DDT there. One, two, no. Only two. Oh, excuse me, you fall there for Megan Van Horn. You know, Megan Van Horn, you know, even even Zahaya, who, who has, you know, has always hated pirate life because he didn't like, you know, their lifestyle. He's always praised uh, Megan, and Megan, you know, being the first of her and oh, of her and Mari to actually become a singles champion. And now look at this. Maybe you know, I'm pretty sure you know she's she's still thinking about you know everything that transpired. Which, you know, I get it and everything like that, but understandable. Yeah. You're in the ring there with someone like Abby Thorne. Your, your head needs to focus. And when you're here mm -hmm. on this this very vicious, very, very spiteful roster of Wildcats, you, you got to keep your head focused in the game. Or else if you're... Not, or else you're you alive. Not just you, you're alive, but you'll fall into, the, into that insanity. True. Now Abby picking Megan up. Abby, you know, a woman who doesn't, it's not the fact that she do, she doesn't have that many friends, it's the fact she doesn't want that many friends. <laughs> One, two, a woman who really keeps to herself and everything like that, uh, you know, somehow has found common ground with Terry Kerrigan. <laughs> But hey, we got a uh, we got a very spiteful surprise out of that. <laughs> yes, yes we did. Oh, Megan, what you got planned here? Uh oh, Avalanche C four, also known as the Spanish Fly. Big time, big time Spanish Fly there. One, one, two, two. no. There is a good point. You got to wonder if um, Carmen's words to Megan got to him. It could have. It could have the words. I mean, she says she has all the you know potential in the world. You know, being you know a second generation wrestler. But she's been in this team with Mari for years. Mm -hmm. She has a lineage. She does. Right, Ray knows about that more than anyone. I mean, you, I, I mean, you know about the Van Horn family. Yeah. Yeah, I know about the Van Horn family. I know about her father, and I know about her grandfather. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. Before I've had, I've seen. That's one of those guys I never got a chance to wrestle. I knew her cousin too. 
I bet you, I bet you were regretting not being able to fight him. Not being I, mean, able I, that nice. I got some training from her grandfather. Never got a chance to fight her father, even though we were in the same country. Even though we were in the same country in Japan. That that that, that has I, to suck. Not being I, able to I, fight, I, fight a man you could have, you might have been training with. Mm -hmm. I do, I do remember that there was okay. women. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Abby! Whoa! Misses the knee! I was gonna say... I, I was gonna... I was gonna say, I think at one point you were supposed to face him. I think it was a tag team match. You you and Plucky versus uh, Van Horn and someone else. But Van Horn had to cancel due to family emergencies. That was the closest... Yeah. I think that was the closest you said you've ever gotten to actually fighting Van Horn. Yes. Honestly, that's a shame, honestly. Fate just, just, just was being so cool and I'm missing out on a chance of you having that match. Wait a minute. Wait. Va Megan's, Megan's hurt. Something happened to Megan near. And and it, she, oh, oh, shit! And, I, and Abby's like, and Abby's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She took both Megan and little Walter out. For fuck's sake. Walter was trying to do his job. I think. Oh, look at this. What is that? Oh. Cross space. Immediately gets out of it. Oh, right, look at Jesus! that! Jesus! Oh. And. Oh, 450! Good lord. Landed that One, two, no. That was... So, this match is just amazing. Oh, this is a quarterfinal matchup here in the uh, Wildcats Championship Tournament. These women just pushing each other to their limits. Indeed. Kick! Abby A. And oh! Big running blockbuster there. And now, oh no! Oh, Jesus! Too too far on that shooting star. Nah, she oh, got look her at knees this. in her face. Whoa! Into her with a Karana. Beautiful uh, step up her Karana there from uh, Megan Van Horn. Oh, wait. Show! Oh, that's the tailbone. That's the tailbone. That had her. Yeah. She is not going to... She is going to be sitting funny for a good bit. Oh! I hands in a bread basket. Also, uh... I actually got... Good. I actually got some news. Uh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oh! Actually, not even news. It's more like a correction. Uh, the referee tonight it isn't well, Mini Walter. That is uh, that's yeah. that's that's actually Eli Monahan. That's AJ's nephew. Oh really? dear God! Yep. The Monahan bloodline lives. I never thought I would see the day I see another Monahan virtual Jesus! That is a lot better than referee Matt Benoit. <laughs> he got no more work. Yeah, he got no more work after a bit. Mm -hmm. What happened in 07? Yeah. Uh oh. The Cobra Clutch. What? Got it! Oh. Cobra Clutch Slam! One, two, no. Only a two count off of that. Lines are up. Oh, no! Over next step, no! And now, oh, kick there, and kick! The double up. And now! Uh-oh. Here we go. Calling her up! Lines her up! There's the knee! It's got it! One, two, two. No! no! Only a two count again! Oh, 
but you gotta you gotta believe what Abby Thorne is thinking that she hit the knee but it do, didn't give her the W. Yeah, oh, kick there. And Moonlight Drive! I, Moonlight Drive! Though I think she might have a name for that. Not correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, uh, uh guys in the back, couple sign on that one. Well anyways, oh And now let's call her elbow. Lock it up. No, push her off. Whoa. No. Nice reversal. Reversal. Wait. Oh, my oh, gosh. Shit. Jeez. Oh, oh, she bounced off. No, oh, she hits it. Uh-oh. Here it comes. For the PK. Limit. No. no. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. One, One two, two, three. What a combination! Holy, Holy shit. fuck, that was cool. That was amazing, and with that, Abby Thorne punches a ticket to the semifinals. That was the twisted thicket. Twisted thicket out of nowhere. Shit. That was a phenomenal match, and what an ending sequence that was. That was holy crap. Thorne pulling out some new tricks, some old tricks, but in the end, she punches her ticket to the semifinals of this Wildcats Championship Tournament. She's one win away from going to the nine-year anniversary. Let's take a look at that finish one more time. Hey, again, we're going, look at this reversal. Into the gun stun. And the GTS GTS runs, runs in for the PK, and then she decides to pull out this. Wicked And with that, she advances to the next round. The semi-final of this Wildcats Championship Tournament. That's what it is. Abby Thorne will face either Celeste Amira or Seiko in the semifinals. Jacobs will face either Juliet Starling and Michelle Rockford. Winners of both matches go to the nine-year anniversary. And then that one of those women will face whoever the winner of tonight's main event is for the Wildcats title. It's safe to say this tournament is just getting heated up. Very heated. Look, boys and girls, and everyone in between, because we won't, because hell, this is gonna be one hell of a night. Mm -hmm. We've only just begun. Oh yeah. John Flacco has won the Call All Stars Championship. It's unreal. What a what a conclusion here to Call All Stars 13. Wait a minute. Hold on. It's Lewis Rivers. Oh my God. He he's attacking John Blackos. So man how to lie. You're getting better all the time. And turn it all against the one. Isn't all this hard to see? Another clever word sets off an unsuspecting herd And as you get back in a line, a mob jumps to their feet No dance, fuck your dance, man, he never had a chance And no one even knew, it was really only you Don't dance, fuck your dance, he never had a chance And no one even knew, it was really only you So dance, fuck your dance, I never had a chance It was really
bad bitches. Huh. New blood. New blood. Her name is uh Rebel Madden. Madden. Rebel Madden. Huh? Making her DC, DCA debut next episode on 181. Nice. Interesting. I like that. And from what I understand, we have a title match up next. Oh, I think I know what it is. Oh boy. The Quake challenging Kite Young for the Fever Championship. Fingers up in the air. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Look at her trot. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wow. Why am I not surprised? This, this, this sick, twisted, fucking. And fuck. she's coming out with Destiny's gear. This harlot. I saw this, I saw this happen at Revelation. It kid had the biggest meltdown I've ever seen. This is nothing. Must be it. another day that is it. Why? But I get it. This is what? her doing her best to get hate. That's what she wants. She wants us to spew venom. She wants us to be angry at her. She wants. You know. She crazy. Allow me to do the following, man. I don't hate you, Quake. I pity you. You know what? You know what? I, You're right. Look, look, all I gotta say is this. I pity any woman who feel who feels that they have I pity any woman that feels inadequate over somebody that fought through something when people never gave her a chance. I feel pity for any woman that had to take out another woman that was not a hundred percent. I feel pity for any woman that feels that inadequate over somebody that damn near had one leg. Everybody can hate the Quake. I just pity the Quake. Honestly, I, I agree. Anyway, this match was given to her by Dakota for reasons I will never understand. Because yeah, for her signing her to Wild Because it's Dakota. Do you, do you really need a reason why she does any goddamn thing? They don't, Dakota's they don't ask Dakota, questions. Dakota's the same way. Dakota basically gave the Quake an opportunity 
Because why the fuck not? This. Don't forget, the Quake has already done some more damage if he not caught an episode of Aftershock. Eva made her shocking return only for Quake to finish the job. This Quake is just. She's just. Soaking in the booze. Soaking in, soaking in the booze. Everything. She is an absolute. Hmm. Not even a minute. She's she's like a fucking parasite. <sighs> one man's parasite is another man. One person's idea of a parasite is another person's sad reality. I mean, I mean, she. And does, that's I, what I feel. The quick is the quick is just a sad reality. I mean, I mean, it's a very sad reality when the closest thing you have to a man is Nari Anderson. But we're, we'll, we'll get besides that. Now we await the champion. And the complete 180. Except for the new ECA Fever Champion. The first, the first ever CCL Women's Breakthrough Champion, a woman who has been on an upward trend ever since that night she became Breakthrough Champion, and now here she is, Fever Champion, and you can tell at any moment this woman right here, Kite Young, will be a future Wildcats Champion. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Yeah. She has the tools, she knows how to use them. It's just a matter of when she finally captures a world championship. But here's, a, but here's another uh, thing we have to take into factor here. Every match that Quake has been in, Daisy Johnson has been in, she has tried to end her opponent's career. Either she has done it or she comes close to it. Kite has to watch, has to keep the eyes in the back of her head because she has, she will, because at any point, Daisy's gonna pull out some trickery. Lest we forget, she's possibly ended the career of Diva. She took that that ACL injury, that false tear, and thought it was a, as a joke, and now we now know it's a, she literally ripped the joint, the ACL's torn off. Also, lest we forget, she finished the job of Destiny. Safe to say, like you said, Jason, DK Young has got to have eyes in the back of her head. Any tricks, fuck, or viciousness that the Quake can put on his nose. And that's what it's all about right there. The Fever Championship. Our first of two title matches here tonight. And is she wearing her sunglasses still? Yes, she, yes, is. she is. Why am I not surprised? Still soaking in the boots. Now well, this gives Kita Young a target for her to break those glasses so the shards can go into her eye socket. Honestly, I would. Honestly, I would love nothing more. Well, here we go. Uh, is it Eli Monahan, correct? Yes. Eli Monahan, referee in charge for this uh, for this FIFA championship match. I uh, guess. Sorry for the poor bastard. Well, AJ right now is taking a break considering everything that happened at Revelations. Honestly, I don't blame him. Not one bit. Take down. And t yeah, here we go. Yeah. Lest we forget the quake has a lot on her plate as well. Because remember, at the time of this recording, she has to defend that Bellatrix Championship at Dawn of Chaos 2 inside Hell in a Cell on Night 2 where the future of that company is on the line. Oh, look Look at look at this cocky bitch. And BAM! That's what you get. 
The KT Young might have to send her jaw into the fifth row, unfortunately. And it could uh, happen to a nicer woman. But unfortunately, it looks like it's still, it's still in place. In if KT Young is smart, even though she's in this position, she should not let up on her at any point. Nope. Mm, don't don't give her an inch. Yeah. But that cannot yeah, be. she's jaw jacking and she's doing all that, but don't let that don't let that get in your head. That is that is part of of Daisy's strategy. That jaw jacking is oh, oh Saito suplex. Oh, I'm not sorry. Backdrop. That was a backdrop. As much as you know, uh, as annoying and as much as you just want to you know cave her head in every time she speaks, she uses her her trash talking as a part of her offense. It gets inside the heads of. Her, it gets inside the heads of her opponent. Mind games, basically. She's been in this business so long that she's basically mastered the art of the mind games. Now she's uh, taking a breather. Yeah. Yeah. This is her game plan right here, trying to get in the head of K of Kita Young. You know, it's Kita Young is. Okay. But Eli telling her to stay in. Kite is actually listening to the ref. And Kite is smirking. It's ain't her first dance. She knows about this. There's a reason why she was the first ever women's breakthrough champion. No, oh, look, oh. look at this. And Quake goes right back. It's a thing. And Kite is like, you willing to take the count out? Kite doesn't have to do a damn thing. She can just let this happen. Eight. Oh. It was, it's, it's the Quake that has to get the win. Kite doesn't have to do a damn thing. And look at that arm drag there. Drag. And there we go again. The hell? Kite. Like I said, she, she, she's trying. She's trying to bait Kita Young. But Kita Young is not having it. Oh God! Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, whoa! Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, STO takedown. Face tornado. That was the world's strongest. You should have put more. You should have put more room for that. Act. And now Kita picking. Daisy back up, and now Daisy on Dream Street. Kick Big there. Kick. Okay. And whoa! Just throwing the outside there from Daisy. And now, old sweet Jesus! Oh. Oh, and now tossing Daisy back into the ring, TK. Also, I'm getting word from the, <laughs> in, the um, in the back. That big arm trap. Uh, oh. Well, we now know this, the winner of this match will face the returning Sin at the 9 year anniversary for the Fever Championship. As we all remember, Sin made a return to Rock to on PCA Revelations, uh, staring at PCA Can't Revelations. wait! Two! No! During a hole at Kite Young, who was holding the Fever Championship. It was right after Kite won the title from Vanessa. Yeah, so the winner of this match will face Sin that's the 9 year anniversary for the Fever Championship. Chop. And, that, and now Kite Irish whips Daisy into the corner. Or the opposite corner. Look at this chop. And now she's just sitting there corner to the corner here with these chops. Oh. Train. oh, look at this. Off the uh, rope. Uh, oh, oh. oh. oh Caught it. Caught with the kick. No. Misses. No. Hurry up, though. What a close line. So far, Daisy's plan of trying to get him in the head of Kita Young has not been into a, not been bearing fruit. And that's the thing. 
when it comes to someone like Kike Young, someone who knows how to stay focused, someone who, who knows how to keep her, her mind in the match. You know, a lot of women these days, and you know, that's one thing with a lot of Daisy's opponents. She fights on women who get very emotional in those matches. Kite Young is a woman who knows how to keep her emotions. She is she, she is focused. I mean, you know, I think one could say that this is probably the first time that Daisy has actually faced somebody that is that doesn't have. That doesn't have emotional baggage. Because she's tried, she's tried multiple tactics, tactics that probably have worked have worked on other opponents. And oh, Jesus Christ! And Kite, about eye, blind it there. And now look at this shot. Yeah, this is gonna actually have to probably. You know, she's actually gonna have to like try or at least change up her strategy. Close line. One, two, no. no. Oh, stomping on her. And now and drops the knee. Drops that knee. And now look at that. A kick to get there. Oh, another kick. And now, whoop. DK. Counter. Oh. She takes that elbow. And now, and oh, well, I was saying, Kite take that elbow from Daisy, and now later out, and now big spinning heel kick again, and another one. And off the rope and roll. Oh. Nearly takes her. A kick. Nearly taking her head off. Two, but. Daisy kicks out. Mm -hmm. Kita Young got to stay on her. You cannot give a woman like Daisy Johnson an inch of a second to breathe. I know. Oh. Russian leg sweep there by Daisy. Even the fact even a stuck up bitch from New Orleans. I yeah no, yeah she she doesn't she doesn't deserve that. And now, Quake's it. Quake's got Kite where she has her. Right where she wants her. Uh, slip into the ropes. Off the rope. And no! Oh. oh. Kite, you saw that coming. Wait a minute. Oh, Yo, this Look is at this. Oh! First DDT there. Had her in that fireman's carry position. What a big elbow! Beautiful elbow there from Kite. Middle rope elbow drop. Yeah, it sucks the One, One, two, two. no. Two Took a while for my Eli to get in position. Oh, as we all remember, he is still a, a young referee in this, uh, this game, so he's still running the ropes. Oh, or the fact is, he's been doing this for a little bit. This is his first big. Uh, First big time match. Well, very, actually, very first big time show. If you think about yeah. it. Yeah, Jesus. Oh. Been working the indies, but he just never had a chance to work in the big show until today. So it's understandable that he's that he's learning, still learning how to do this. It's understandable. And now, no. Quake got her set up. And look at this. Wait, oh god! Oh, there's it again. Pop there's up some more and drop. But here's the thing, you know, you can't always use old because he's new as a crutch. So eventually, he won't be new. He won't be new, and he'll learn how to do this problem. Or he'll, or he'll get them same, he'll get them same licks as Monahan or AJ does. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to this match. Big elbow, big forearm shot. Wait a minute! Oh, oh come on! Stop! Shades of Man Man Manami Toyota with the Queen's Plex, but only gets. There's also shades of one Cleopatra Sphinx. Yeah. But I, but I, 
but uh, in this house we pay respect to the Toyota. Gotcha. Now, I'll look at this! Done, gun. One, two, no. Now, Daisy waiting for Kite to get back up. Try to go for some, but Kite had the, had the block ready. Very much did. Oh! Kick to the oh. gut there and. Oh! Big axe kick! Big axe. Vicious axe kick there from Kite. That is that, that, that martial arts training that Kite has been, has been working on. And here's something I want, I want, I want to point out. Right? Well, yeah, I don't know if you remember this, but back at. I mean, oh, look at this. Look at this. Another and there it is again! Another Queen Suplex. Back at. Or the, or the Japanese Ocean Cyclone Suplex. But, Jesus Christ! But if you remember back at Prestige 3, who Kite Young faced at that event. When Miss Carmen. Miss Carmen Cortez. Mm -hmm. And that right there was a. It, it was almost a similar match to what happened to Mari. But if anything, you know, I would say, Jesus oh. H. Christ Almighty in Heaven! Tried to go for that dive, and it just did not work. And now I think Daisy, I think Daisy just realized she's got, she's got an advantage. And after as long as this match, she finally got the advantage she was looking for. Piggyback stunner! And I do believe it was that, correct me if I'm wrong, Prestige 2, where Daisy uh, screwed uh, Destiny Williams out of the Soul Silver Chatter. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think so. I, yeah. I'm learning about the prestige history, but it sounds like that's yeah, what she did. Daisy did. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And now. Kept that, kept that head scissors in pretty well, and now Daisy. In Daisy. Finally got. Finally is in control of this match. As soon as I say that. Wait, no. Counter. Snapmare. And now she's trying to she's trying to wear it down. She's trying to slow down the match right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at this. She's trying to slow it down to her pace. But the reason why I wanted to, why I was bringing that up is because it was like at oh, at at that event, and this is the one thing me and Hit have pinpointed to where Daisy, not Daisy, Destiny began her, I guess, slow change into what she would become. It was that night where she lost, got screwed, and if anything, many people have said that it's because of Daisy, why a lot of things have happened to Destiny. Why she changed, and now the fact that her career is now in question. Yep. I mean, holy crap! Apron bomb. Uh, and then a year later, with match Kite Young was involved in, I wouldn't say changed her for the worse, but made her even more. I would say focused and, and sometimes even more vicious. And now look at this. Oyster up. That's right. Oh! Counter! Kite! Tiger! Wait, no! Oh! We are thinking the Tiger suplex, but she did the Tiger lung blow. And a big headbutt! Go 
Cage will get out of it. Reversal. Try to go for the overhead belly to belly. But Daisy uh, took the unveteran instincts to reverse that. She gets caught again with the overhead belly to belly suplex. And now PK could be looking to finish here. And now and Daisy in her sights. Kite out on the apron. Oh! Need her right in the head. And now, oh, try to go for a double sub. And now, look at this flapjack. Another flapjack there. Or now, Daisy has the match. Oh! 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 Definitely try. Definitely trying for that Sinclair, that flapjack Sinclair. And now, Daisy hoisting. Kite Young up to the top rope. Desperation is starting to settle in for Daisy here. And now there's Daisy with an abs. Avalanche. Ah! What do you call that, that on? That, 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 was, that, that, was, that was like an avalanche northern, northern suplex. Yeah. Almost like. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait Donald Trump. No! Reversal! DDT! It hits the impaler. D-D-T. Oh, there's the Kobo oh, kid. Oh, oh. oh, I love seeing that damn thing. That, that, that Capo kid can be lethal if done right. Chains of the legendary Jushin Thunder Liger. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Many, many a man, woman, a child has tried to perfect that move, but only a select few can, and Kite might be one of them. Now look at this. Daisy trying to throw Kite off out of the ring, but Kite was able to catch herself. Whoa! Right hand. Uh oh. Oh, sweet oh Jesus Christ Almighty. It's the most overused death spot in all of virtual wrestling. The outside avalanche to play. Oh, God! You know what? I'm not even giving Daisy that good. Get it. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, oh. She landed on the barricade. She wait a minute. 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 That was the Avatar State. That was the Avatar State. That was the Avatar State. Another woman she's she's caused so much trouble with. Two. No! She tried to frame Cora when she originally made her presence known in in WWA and when she was hitting people left, right, and center with the... Yeah. 
There he is. Oh! Here, take a look at his sequence again. First, the superplex to the outside. And then, deciding just, just Daisy being who she is, decides to once again drag Tori's name through the mud. Hit the, uh, hit the avatar stage, making sure that Kite's head hit directly on that damn barricade. Back live. And she's tossing Kite Young back into the ring. Kite might be out. One, two. Well, I spoke too soon as Kite was able to get her shoulder up. As we go back live here. Nah. Like I said, desperation is starting to sink in, which, which is not a good thing for Wait. Kite. Caught her again! Caught her again with that pop of Samoan! Body is trying to check on Daisy, but, but look at this, Kite is not hesitating one bit! Oh, I'm trying to go for the double stop, no! Oh. Dose! One, two, no! Or the shockwave as she calls it. Wave. Yeah. And now, is she going for again? No! Oh. Oh, look at these kicks, these furies of educated kicks on her knee! Oh, I'm trying to go for the capital again! Shockwave! No! There it is! There it is! Yep, he took the ref out. Wait! Wait a minute! But Eli's oh, down! One, two, three, four, five. Eli's back up to his feet. Oh! What the hell? Fuck! What the hell? Kite was pissed. Oh god. She's, oh god, this is what the Quake wanted. Yep. She's like, why did you get. What? Like, she was yelling, oh god! She's going after Eli! This is what Daisy wanted! This is her this is her Wait! Wait! Oh Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Christ. This, is what, this is what Daisy wanted! Eli Monahan down! This is Daisy being Daisy! Now she's now she's gonna do what she always does. Oh no! She's she, got a bat! She's got, got a bat! She's got a goddamn ball! Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Classic Daisy! Look, classic means would I wouldn't even say classic because classic brings back good memories. Anything fucking Daisy does is not break, does not bring back any good memories. All it brings back is misery. And now she's calling for the end. And look at this, bam out the Kite Young. She's going to finish. She's looking for cataclysm. Oh, Quake Bottom! Quake Bottom! Shakes of another woman she's caused hell for in, in one Revy. One, two, no! It's it. She's still up and this crowd has, this crowd has erupted. And that's the thing with, with Daisy. Every, every woman she's had issue with, she has eventually stolen their, their signature move. I just found, I, th I found it in this way. She's damn near throwing everything she can, and she still can't get, and she still can't put Kite Young down. This is textbook Daisy Johnson. If she can't beat her cleanly, she'll do it her way. I find it more along the lines of she's using all the moves of all the women. Bottom on the she she okay, tormented, and she still can't put this woman down. And now, gonna finish. Less, less talk and more finish the uh -oh. job. Oh! What a great kill, are you bitch? And the, the and the thing is, that bat, with the color that it is, it's blending into the mat. 
What? Wait a minute! It's Maddie! Oh, oh my god, that is Maddie! Maddie Star! Maddie Star is Star's back! Maddie Star is here. And Daisy just saw! And Daisy's like, what the hell? Maddie Star made a return. Wait! Wait! Wasn't paying attention! Wasn't paying attention. One, two, Tate Young had no idea she was there, but I don't think she give a damn. Mm -hmm. Now we now know, but we now know the match for the ninth anniversary. It will be, it will be yeah. Tate Young defending the title against Sin. That's the match. An instant collapse between those two. And Daisy tried everything, and I mean everything. She threw every move she could. But it's but, but I, I look I say it one I'm gonna say it once and I'm gonna say it one one time only. If you're so damn worried about being spiteful and taking the move with women as a trophy, be sure to put the woman down that you used it on. All that showed me is that you took every move from every woman you've ever heard and you still couldn't beat somebody that you figured was below you. Here's the finish. AZ saw Maddie on the on the stage. She lost focus for one second from PK. And hey, took that took. advantage and ran with it. Here's the first of here's the here's the first one. GTS. And now look at that. She, she wanted to make it. She popped up, back up. Instead, she got not one, but two in a succession. We call that a triple tap. Oh shit. Wait, well now. Maddie Star, Maddie Star at the speech in Seattle. What? Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait. Uh, well, 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 the bitch ain't getting what you want. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, that could be that could be a that's a list of people right there. Wait, wait, wait. Daisy's looking at the screen right now and she's It's it's still black. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! 
No! <laughs> <laughs> His eyes just no went way. wide! She has seen oh, a ghost. No. Oh my god! You know, it's funny. For all of my life, everyone always told me to go to the back of the line. Doctors, friends, family. They've all told me to go to the back of the line. And did I listen? Of course I did. Because what was a woman with one leg to do at that point after my injury? But now, now I look at myself stuck in this chair, wondering if this is all that's left. Watching everyone's career pass by. Watching what should be the best years of my life slowly fade away with nothing to show for it. Right now, I don't know what I need to do. That title, it was everything to me. It was the validation of every sacrifice I made just to get back to where I know I belong. And whether people loved me or hated me, no one could deny that I was the one that made this division. And ever since I've been gone, this division has never been the same. But, Daisy Johnson, for you, there is no validation. Not a shred of it. Because all of this started with you. All of my pain, my suffering, and my descent into the madness that I call a home started with you. So believe me when I tell you, I'm coming back. But I'm not coming to simply win a match. That would be too easy. If this is the last days of my career, I'm going to make sure that I take you down with me. But since you like ending careers, let me give you, Naughty, and everyone else a proposition. Prestige 5. Last Woman Standing. I'll sign any papers, waivers, or anything that I have to sign, as long as you agree to these terms. If you win, I will leave virtual wrestling for good. I'll take this bum knee, take my ball, and go home. But if I win, then I get a shot at any title I choose in any company or any belt in VWU. And just to make it fair, if you win, you get the same kind of title shot. Because that's what you want at the end of the day, right? Power. Control. And you know that out of everyone that wants your head on a platter, I'm the one you fear the most. And now, you get the chance to finally finish the job. But understand this, Daisy. At Prestige, I'm not just going to kill your dreams. I'm going to kill your entire damn career.
boy. Yeah. Uh, we have to we have to talk about the fact that Daisy B might be fucked in Seattle. Because Destiny's coming back. She wants her hand. She wants her pound of flesh. Right now we talk about the nine year anniversary show. That was coming up very soon. So far we got a stack card. But first off special thanks to Red Hulk for the song for the for the for the official theme song of the nine year anniversary. Available on Spotify, wherever it needs to be sold. The DCA Burnout Championship as Tommy Facetti will, will defend against Michael Conley. The favorite championship, it is Sin challenging the st world's strongest, P.K. Young. It's been approved of, and it's now official. And also, we have a DCA Tag Team Championship match. As on last takedown, it's been announced, AJ O'Connor and Vincent Cipriani goes up against the blacklist yep yep I and, and, and for for the guys championship akira yukimura defends against bad amy that's sure gonna be another instant classic right there oh hell yeah very much an instant classic and also for the dca world heavyweight championship it is a triple threat match josh mcleod james needham and dante scott which has just been announced about a company which had, which was announced Right after takedown got finished. That is all we know so far for the nine year anniversary. Before we, before we get to you on, we got a main event because it's time to crown a new champion. Multiple women's world champions and one world heavyweight champion. All battling. Yeah. All battling for the vacant <laughs> Wildcats championship. The first, may, may I remind you, the first woman in a while to hold a world championship in the in the men's division. Mm -hmm. As we now wait for participants. Here comes the first one. Yeah. Yep, the, the first music. woman, the current. Sudden Impact Unleashed World Champion. No, that's no, 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 no. Scarlet World Wrestling Champion. Remember, she she gave up the SIU title to Carmen. Damn. She is, of course, she's no longer the Black Mamba. She is the Taipei Taipei Snake, known simply as Devataki. No, she still goes by the moniker of the Black Mamba. It's just that Taipei. Was uh, a nickname given to her by uh, Roman. Honestly, yeah. it works a lot better because all she needs is five seconds. You you know what? It's just I've I've always said this about this woman. Anytime she she makes her presence known, she literally drains any sort of happiness from an arena. Lest we forget Murder Brawl. You she, and I were there. She is the... I... I uh, Robert, you might want to close your ears. No, say it. Just say it. I called her the living embodiment of depression. Yeah. This is... Oh, this is the... Oh, no, no. Well, what I mean by that, I mean by all the sorrow, all the anguish, all the pain that one that one goes through when they suffer through depression she is the living embodiment of all that mm -hmm. she could be leaving here tonight with the wildcats title but the same could be said got, for this she, woman she's got all these she's got multiple other women to deal with she's got five other women to deal with we await entrant number two Here she is. Melissa McNeil, the current GCA Women's Champion, also former uh, Wildcats Tag Team Champion with uh, Nicole and Natasha. Mm -hmm. Could she be walking out here with 
the Wildcats championship? That's the question right there. And she recently, and she, yeah, she recently defended the GCA title against Carmen. It was an instant it, classic a few months ago. Which, which was a few months ago. So she's looking to possibly leave Wildcats with the Wildcats title as well. That can be said for all five, five of these women. And then there's a shot. Now we await competitor number three. Is the music there? Is the current call there star? Is. The current all call all stars women's champion Kimberly Page. First yeah. lady of extreme call wrestling. The only lady in extreme call wrestling. You can't call yourself the first when you were literally the only one. Leave it alone. She's also got her. Look, right her I get, look I'm just saying. I get it. You wanna you wanna hold that claim and say, you know, you're the first lady, you you paved the way, but I fucking no. Easy no. She's got a plate hands full as well because at nowhere to run, ECW's next paper pay-per-view, she I remember correctly, she is challenging for the ECW women's championship. Her. And the and the entitled princess herself. Oh, here we go! And I'm per go. I'm pretty sure every ROV fan just puckered their asshole. Because Good. The current Ring of Valiance heavyweight champion of the world. Look, all I gotta Please. say is cry harder. Yeah. Cry, cry harder. Don't cry. care. <laughs> Don't care. I'm fucking happy for this woman. <laughs> I'm glad she's the world champion. Everybody here in ROV can eat my ass. Yeah. <laughs> No, no season. And there she is. The psycho angel, Aubrey Williams. Former queen of the deathmatch in SRW. Former, former Wildcats yeah, champion. Yeah, Wildcats champion. Current and former Valiant World Heavyweight champion. And former Wildcats tag team champion. Yeah. And also, one of Stephen Zane's many items. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, also and somebody he's going and one and somebody he said on multiple occasions, I would love to share a ring with her that involves broken glass and barbed wire. And here's the thing: Aubrey Williams is also a member of the Albright family. Yeah. She's back, and this crowd is ecstatic and waiting. Mm -hmm. They miss this woman. I mean, it, it, even though she, even though right now she's the king of the mountain in ROV, Wildcats, Wildcats will always be her home. She yeah. would love to become two-time Wildcats champion. Now we await the final competitor. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but there's going to be a little bit of bias. Just a tiny bit. Because, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the current UWL Charge World Champion, the Temptress herself, it is Selena Zeta. Selena's got a, no. big, got a big, got a big, uh, big time work on her and as UWL Charge World Champion because. At Salvation Night One, she will be defending the Charge World Title against Annie Cortez. I, I love how you just promoted my own show for me when I was trying to do that. <laughs> Anyways, let me take let me take it from here. On night two, it, whoever wins that match will take on Elizabeth Ronson. Yep. Safe to say, if all goes goes well. Selena Zeta is going to be having a look, is going to be having her hands full, not only here in here in DCA but in UWL as well. You were going to say, Ray? Because it's also very interesting. Mm -hmm. Two women in this matchup. Former tag team champions together. Dad and former former faction mates with the Gotham City Sirens. Mm -hmm. This I think this is the first time TK not TK uh fucking. Fuck. 
<laughs> Selena and <laughs> and Aubrey have been in each other's presence. Yeah. In a long in a long while. And there's in the third. And my Mimi is still in my head. Yeah. I wonder what happened to my Mimi. Well, anyway, he's got to let her little reunion with Aubrey go to the wayside because she has a chance to capture the Wildcats championship. Former Fever champion. A at one point the right hand woman to one uh, Miss Balalaika. Yep, she was she was the hand picked girl of Balalaika, uh, but eventually she ended up getting kicked out of Balalaika's graces because Balalaika felt like Selena wasn't getting anywhere, and for a while there Selena was lost, but ever since winning. That charge world title, Selena has been on a whole new fucking level. Mm -hmm. She comes back to the Destiny Championship Alliance. Not as what she was, but what she is now. And that is a champion. A she world champion. It. She would love to complete this odyssey by capturing the one title she's been trying so hard to capture. And I do believe, Ray, you should have the honors for this. Indeed, Ray, the floor is yours, my friend. There it is. There it is. Wildcats that is for us. Why wow, tell me to have the floor yet? Here you are talking. I was All about right, to sell you that. Wait, get your ass yeah, back. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a multi women match for the vacant DCA Wildcats championship as we have Devataki, Melissa McNeil. Delina Zeta, Aubrey Williams, and Kimberly Page. And right now, everyone trying to find. Oh, Devitaki. The immortal words of a, uh, in the immortal words of a of a MMA enthusiast. Let's do this. Indeed. As you can see, right, right there, we have the three women in the ring. Uh, McNeil. Kimberly and Aubrey, and on the outside, Devataki and Selena Zeta. Now, I have to ask the question to both men. Is this one fall to the finish, or are we going for a dance? I think this is a dance. No, one, one fall to the finish, I think, maybe? Uh, boys in the back, give us a hand out here. Pretty much, we got two fights going on right now. We got the three women. Yeah, one, one fall to the finish, okay. We got the three women. Yeah, we have and it's it's interesting that Selena is going after Devitaki, considering you know everything that Selena, uh, that confrontation she had with Carmen, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, Devitaki, bitch! I swear to God, oh. if you try to hurt her, I will. Mm. You know. And now, wait a minute, Kimberly. Got oh. Hangman neckbreaker there from uh, Kimberly Page. <coughs> this. Blaine is Ada breaking up the count there. Eli, good luck in there. Yep. Well, welcome, welcome to the welcome to the big leagues, man. Yep. Out of the frying pan into the fire. This is your crucible, my friend. Devitaki and it was like oh, oh good god almighty Jesus Mother of God Aubrey and fucking Devitaki Aubrey and Devitaki are fighting in the ring that McNeil Kimberly and Zeta are on the outside Oh Look no not even not even the ninth circle of hell if anything that deserves to be, there deserves to be twenty more stages of hell created just so they can be at the very bottom of it She, oh wait, wait, McNeil. She needs to break that up and oh, oh well. she yeah, breaks it up, all right. Well, well, since she's a Monahan, ladies and gentlemen, hashtag Monahan down. Monahan now. Yep. Jeez. Big Good luck. Roll the dice. I do believe that was actually original sin. I do believe she calls that. 
Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at this. Hooks the leg. No! Taki stops her now. Zeta and Devataki both fighting again. Reversal by Devataki. Oh! 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 person out it's all about timing and Aubrey fighting on the outside and now oh right moment to strike you can leave with the wild man. oh Jesus Christ good lord McNeil and Selena wait a minute what the whoa oh! was that an actual double team maneuver between Zeta and Tevataki? I think I think Selena was trying to go for a spine buster but the, at the exact moment Devataki is like you know what? I'm just gonna kick her in the head take and take away your moment and now oh look that uppercut there by Devataki and now Selena has Devataki and now look at making her eat the turn buck go you stupid And now it's Selena. Oh, holy! Whoa, whoa, whoa! She rolled out of the way. Oh, wait a minute! Oh no! Oh no! You stupid bitch! You stupid bitch! Oh, oh thank God! Thank God! No! Manil, someone inadvertently saved Devin Taki from getting punted. Now nah, Selena from getting punted. Oh, Selena from getting punted. With that vicious punt kick. Known as the uh, as the le as the lethal as the lethal poison, or as I as I like to call it. And now, wait. Dab brain buster. Clothesline. Clothesline. And oh, jump in, Larry. Now Devataki. Oh, I mean, Kimberly has Devataki up. And back stunner. Backpack stunner. And oh, what a beer by Kimberly Page. I'm John Jack and actually pin her. One, two, and yeah, that's what happens when you jaw Jack. You give other people time to get up. And now, was Irish whip into the corner there? Now, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. Whoa! Oh! She ducked the line. She, she ducked the line and then did the El Generico Memorial DDT. Say what you will, that was actually pretty cool. That's good. Yeah, can we get half our moments? I guess. Uh oh, Argentine. <laughs> and Aubrey said to hell with you and your to hell to you and your position. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Original sin or ten tempters Tris. Got it! Uh, sticks it into the cover. One two, two no. no Enough see who can go after. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Dragon Sleep! Oh! Kimberly got out! <laughs> Kimberly, she fought out of that for her life. She knew exactly what the hell was gonna happen if she got into it. Mm hmm. And Aubrey stops the pin. Oh, the match made in hell. Right there. And now. Aubrey sends Devitaki into the ropes. 
Oh, kick to the gut there. And Impaler DDT! And now... Whoa! Dodge the German! Flips out of it! Snap there! Oh! oh. And I don't think Devataki appreciated that. You took her move away from her. And now Kimberly's about to pay for her interference. Or was it? I honestly find that funny. Oh, God! Is that Kimberly did her move? Well, not that she did her move. It's the fact that she... Devataki was about to kick her in the head. Well, kick uh, Aubrey in the head. But... Kimberly was like, no, I'm going to kick her in the head instead. Kick! Uh-oh. Well, speaking of kicks and knees, and BAM! And uh, Aubrey snuck right in trying to steal it. You know, you know I, I don't know if this BOOM! Final judgment! I was going to say, I don't know what's, uh, the fact that, you know, that the UWO Charge World Champion was beating the shit out of the uh, Call of All-Stars Champion, I mean, the Women's Champion, it felt kind of cool. You know, just being a little petty there. For those who know me, they know why. Jawbreaker. Ah! And now, Selena targeting Aubrey. Oh, Aubrey and Aubrey and Selena, the only two women in the ring right now. And look at this. She had to to break up that uh, pin. That lariat right there from from Selena taking Devataki's head off. Too bad, not literally. And then and watch this. This it's modified camel clutch here with the uh, with the arms trap. And watch this. She just just throws her entire body to break that up. As we go back live. And, oh, drop kick yet again there from Kimberly. And now, no. reverse DDT. <laughs> what a boot by Selena. Selena, God. Selena, telling these women, that this is my ring. This is where I belong. Wait, oh God. Whoa! Oh. And McNeil just Samoe Joe here. And now, done. Oh, <laughs> sweet Jesus! Jesus. Just threw her into into McNeil. McNeil. Oh, look! Later look, out. look how right, right, right there's creepy. Look how Devitaki's pretty much stalking everyone. She's looking at everything that's happening right now. Trying to get her bearings. Trying to see which one she should attack first. She definitely is a fucking predator. And oh! Lewis Kimberly stopping Demitaki. Oh, look at this. Well, look at it. Tilt the world. Side slam there from Kimberly Page. Wait a minute. Kimberly's going to go for the kick. Oh. oh. No. Boom. Boot. What a boot. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Whoa. You should counter. Wait. Oh, God. But Kimberly got right out of it. Get out of it! Oh wait, 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 wait! Down oh, backbreaker! And little Selena! Oh Jesus! Oh. Trying to go for that spear and miss! Oh, you, you stupid bitch! Oh, oh, she played him. She played him like a damn fiddle. And oh no! Wait a minute! Jump breaker! breaker. Jump breaker. 
spots that the top is. That she does. Wait a minute. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> God damn. Couldn't happen. Couldn't happen to a nicer bitch. Damn it. And now, Selena, look at this. Got McNeil. And oh! Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. One more drive! One more drive. And now! Whoa! Uh oh! Oh! Shit! Wait! Oh! Headbutt! By Aubrey! And now this. Half and half! Final judgment! Final judgment! Judge oh, Eli's Brent down! Combo. And Jesus! Aubrey by herself. She's, she's basically got a fielder's choice here. And Kimberly. Still jaw jacking. And go! Oh, well, her jaw just. Her jaw just yet jacked. And oh! And now. Got Aubrey set, close line, close line. Power slam! And oh! No, don't you. No, 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 no! Oh my no, god! You stupid! She picked the spot! Boom! There it is! The punt oh kick! God. One! Two! Oh my god! Devataki is the new World Cup champion. Aubrey sacrificed herself for Selena. You know what this means? Yes. She just pun she punted Selena. No. God no, damn it. It's not that. God. No, 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 no. That's on. God fucking damn it. Jason. It means. Another, a dark day, a dark fucking day here in Wildcats. A dark fucking day. They, 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 they have it all. They have it all. Robert, Robert, I know. They have it all. They have it all. Stupid fucking bitch. Which say a black cloud has passed over Wildcats, but I mean that black cloud has been there since last year. If no. anything, it just got pretty damn darker. The plague. That's it. Yeah, yeah, thank you for reminding me. I can see it right in front of my fucking face. Three, two, one. Greetings and salutations, my fellow killers. The time has come. At Revelation 7, I have an opportunity to be the number one contender for the Goddess Championship. And, I came out as the victor. Though that dumb Karen, once again, interfere in my business, I'm not gonna ignore the bigger picture, which is your deathmatch princess is going to fight. An empress. Akira Yukimura. This is something we both waited for. 
this is one of the reasons why I came to DCA. Because you and I both know that we want to face each other. Remember when we first saw each other? You were gracious enough to invite me and talk about us. How we are very similar. Having troubled past and it still haunts us. We have expressed ourselves and with our demons. I shared something with you that nobody is gonna know. That means you know the woman behind the mask, behind the flashy ring gear, behind bad Amy. At the nine year anniversary, I need to know you a little more. I need to know the woman behind the Empress. You see, you have no idea how important this match is to this business and for the rest of the community. This isn't a match for a title or who is superior. It's a match that is destiny, a match that will be history. And we are not going to let over entitled but hurt garands or enemies from the past ruin history. But don't think that I'm just gonna let you step one like the ones before me. I am going to win. I am going to be the next goddess champion. And I'm going to stake my claim as the woman that dethroned the Empress. I am looking forward to facing you, Akira Yukimura. And I'm looking forward to you getting killed. Bye. Come to my